plotting angle. An average of 8 million tons of plastic trash are added to the ocean each year. By 2050, the amount of trash in the ocean will outnumber fish. This fact is stated by Douglas Maine, an experienced environmental journalist who is a senior editor and writer at National Geographic in the Newsweek Journal published in 2015. According to a survey I conducted, everyone in this room has taken a vacation to a beautiful beach. We all enjoyed our time walking along the beach and collecting seashells. What if, instead of collecting seashells, you were picking up other people's garbage? The United States Environmental Protection Agency should implement stricter punishment on individuals and corporations contributing to the plastic waste in the ocean. First, I will explain the problem of plastic pollution in the ocean. Next, I will cover a probable solution to end this problem. First, let's discuss and understand the problem of plastic pollution in the ocean. Plastic pollution in the ocean is a significant problem in regards to the ocean and its inhabitants. Currently, 5 trillion plastic particles weighing 269,000 tons float on the surfaces of our ocean. This fact is stated by Nate Salterich, an award-winning environmental journalist who is featured in several environmental journals across the United States in the journal Environmental Health Perspectives, <coughs> published in 2015. Plastic particles refers to tiny bits of plastic that have been weathered down by the ocean for many years. The United States ranks 20th on the list of the top 20 waste contributors in the world. We currently deposit 75,000 tons of plastic trash to the ocean each year. Plastic trash would refer to bigger pieces of plastic such as plastic water bottles, cups, etc. Number one on that list of the top 20 waste contributors would be China, depositing 2.4 million tons of plastic trash to the ocean each year. As a planet, we are producing an unimaginable amount of trash. The result of a plastic polluted ocean is because of poorly managed waste on land. Plastic is often very light in weight and can be easily blown for several miles and find its way into waterways. Even trash here in Minnesota can find its way into the ocean. That plastic bag that you dropped out in the parking lot can easily blow into the Zumbro River here in town. From the Zumbro River, it can travel into the Mississippi where it can be traveled across the country and be deposited into the Gulf of Mexico. Everyone is responsible for the amount of trash that ends up in our oceans, not just those who live on the coast. Plastic pollution in the ocean is harmful to not only its inhabitants, but to humans as well. According to Sarah Gall, a PhD student who studies at the University of Plymouth, a center for marine and coastal research in the Marine Pollution Bulletin published in 2015, states that plastics are made up of many toxins and chemicals that can be diffused back into the ocean water. Those pieces of plastic can also absorb other toxins and chemicals from other debris that's in the ocean. Plastic pollution is becoming a major threat for marine wildlife. About 690 species in the ocean have come in contact with plastics. Of these species, several thousands have become entangled in plastic trash where they get stuck and never get out. These animals end up dying because of somebody's choice to not dispose of their trash correctly from their day at the beach. According to Marcus Erickson, an environmental scientist who founded and is the director of research for Five Guyers, a nonprofit organization whose goal is to reduce plastics in the ocean, in the journal Public Library of Science, published in 2014, states that animals see these tiny plastic particles as food. They then ingest those plastic particles and take on all those harmful toxins and chemicals that the plastic was made up of. We as humans then eat those fish that have eaten the plastic, and then we take on all those harmful chemicals that the plastic was made up of. Now that we understand the problem of plastic pollution in the ocean, I will go over a workable solution to end this problem. Plastic pollution is a growing problem that needs to be resolved for the betterment of our world. United States companies that produce an alarming amount of trash need to follow specific rules mandated by the EPA. These companies need to hire an environmental advisor who would overlook the amount of trash being produced by each company. They would also ensure that their trash is disposed of correctly. These companies also need to lessen the packaging on their products so we as consumers don't have to throw that much plastic away. 
Companies that fail to meet these requirements will be fined in upwards of $500,000. This money will go to the funding of reducing plastics in our oceans. According to Andrew Wheeler, the administrator of the United States Environmental Protection Agency, a government agency dedicated to protecting U.S. citizens and the environment, in the publication, Preventing Trash at the Source, produced in 2017, states that the most practical way to stop plastics from getting into the oceans is by starting with yourself. Always be sure to recycle old plastic bottles and electronics that no longer work. You should also invest in reusable products such as grocery bags, water bottles, and coffee mugs so that you can reduce the amount of plastic you produce each year. Also be sure that when you go grocery shopping to buy products that have little to no packaging on them. By following these simple steps, you can lessen the amount of trash that you produce each year. First, I spoke about the problem of plastic pollution in our oceans. Next, I described a desirable solution to end this problem. The United States Environmental Protection Agency should implement stricter punishment on individuals and corporations contributing to plastic waste in the ocean. By 2050, if we put my plan into place, we can all still take those beautiful beach vacations that we so desire. And when we go snorkeling, Instead of seeing plastic water bottles, we can see those beautiful fish.